y'all and welcome back to the beauty related side of my channel for the first time in a while we are actually filming a review yay applause all around we are back sort of on the review train uh the next couple of reviews i do is going to be belated makeup uh palettes that have been out for a while i had asked y'all if you still wanted to see me review some palettes that i wanted to get when i didn't when i wasn't financially able to purchase them and quite a few of y'all did say we don't care if it's however many months old a year old we would like to hear your thoughts and opinions which is a very very encouraging statement so i was just like all right we're gonna do it we're gonna go back we're gonna look at some of the shit that i want to see and i got some of the stuff I want to see. Uh, the next review that I do after this, I'm pretty sure, is going to be two of the new <laughs> Natasha Denona um, eyeshadow palettes, two of her $65 palettes, $65 palettes, as well as at some point I would like to review the Lunar Beauty nude something something where they've got the neutral palette, that gorgeous gorgeous blush palette as well as some very intriguing looking lip oils y'all know that lunar beauty is one of my top tier favorite brands they've got consistent products their aesthetic is amazing and they have been disgustingly unproblematic during the entire life of their existence but today we are in fact reviewing doing a duo review compare and contrast of the new Melt Cosmetics Gemini 2 palette, which is what I am wearing on my illustriously rosy peepers today. I mean, looking at this shiz just like this, I saw it and I was like, I really, really, really wanted this when it came out. Melt, Melt Cosmetic palettes are not cheap. I mean, the majority of eyeshadow palettes are not cheap. And when they released that, they also re-released. I'm not entirely sure if they reformulated or they were just like, oh, let's give this new schnazzy packaging and cute little floral imprints on the inside. I do have the original Gemini. I will leave that review down below if y'all would like to take a trip down memory lane and see a video of Yonder Year on my channel. And I must admit, as much as I love this packaging here, I am absolutely living for the aesthetic of this one is just so stinking pretty and i really think they did an excellent job of making them look similar while still being very distinct palettes and y'all know how much i love eyeshadow palette packaging that matches the aesthetic inside of said palette and as you all can see and as you all know you know that this shit fucks me up on a whole nother level. Before there was green eyeshadow Soraya, there was red eyeshadow Soraya. This here is the Gemini. Go, you've got really pretty all of that embossing going on there. Now, I will admit the only reason I bought both of these um, is because my Gemini is old. Old as, I think this was the second launch and as i had been decluttering my um uh, eyeshadow palettes i noticed that my shimmers were getting a little a little messy a little puffy a little bit just not right it's very crumbly and very just schwitzy all over the place i am pleased that i have a nice divot in all of these green shades and then in this one and this one that makes me very pleased but essentially my only justification was that this one is old and i put it in my brain that i could be like well i'll do a double review i'll do a compare and contrast i have used all three of these things so it's been a long enough intro let's just go in talking about it we discuss the aesthetic a bit let's swatch these palettes we'll compare this one to the new one and then we'll talk about my opinions on a whole and we have got to start with the main event of this video which is the gorgeous gemini 2 focus focus Thank you. Who is looking all like this? She is rosy. She is grungy. She is gorgeous. The only shade, it's coming up a bit washed out, but it doesn't even have too much. It's coming up really freaking washed out. These two shades over all the way to the right are actually much uh, more saturated than they are showing up on camera. 
I mean, I love absolutely all of this. The matte to shimmer ratio, the color scheme, the fact that you've got like the red that then gradients into the brown. Got a little touch of green, got a little, 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 uh, a little ode to the original Gemini to kind of keep it all together. As I discussed, absolutely love the packaging, but let's get some swatches. I am wearing long sleeves like I typically do because I am in absolute denial that it is 80 something degrees outside, which should feel absolutely amazing because I was in Arizona. The day I left, it was 110 degrees. I didn't Snapchat much while I was there except for some family things, but y'all, I was suffering. So we're just gonna go up and down, starting off with, I do love all the cute little, little rose imprints. I love it, but I also hate it because as a whatever OCD person I am, I'm like, I can't, I don't want to, it's so pretty. We don't touch the embossing. That was always my issue with Jeffree Star because he was always doing fancy embossing on his shit. Okay. We're going to start with Bella, which I must say, these feel so nice. We've got a bit of, a bit of fall up, a bit of kick up. Most of us know that with Melt Cosmetics, Oh, there we go. That's not showing up pasty. That, that really, really pretty rosy. I've actually just taken this and done it all over my lid. Popped a little bit something in the inner corner. Did a simple wing. Absolutely loved it. It was great for just an easy going out the door look. Then we have Ladylike right here, which once again, they feel absolutely beautiful. Those are somewhat similar. They're coming up nice on camera. I do, I think they could have been a little bit darker, different, saturated, whatever. Then we have Sweetheart right here, which is what I started out with, going up in that area right there. Got Sweetheart, absolutely stunning. Then we have uh, Gemelas, which Again, smooth, buttery, beautiful feeling. Look at that. A little bit of fallout. Like I said, we know how Melt Cosmetic works. They tend to be heckin' pigmented, but you gotta be able and willing to work with their formula. And then we have Love Sick right here, which is what I went into after this one. A little bit, little bit not as soft, not as a little bit, little bit rougher, a little bit more fallouty going on right there, but let me give you a sneak peek. Blends, blends like a fucking dream. Absolutely just do the swatches, then I'll express to you how much I love this fucking shit. Then we have Schmood, which is the shimmer right here, which can we, can we, can we focus, 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 have a moment, focus, focus, focus. It, no, it's too close to my freaking face. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's shimmy shiny. It's amazing. We'll put it right here where it fucking belongs. I have used this with red. I have used this with pink. I have used this with um, brown and it looks amazing. This is a beautiful example of Melt Cosmetics when they do shimmers right. Let me try. Can we focus like this? No? maybe, but absolutely stunning. Next up is LX Queen going on right here. Again, kind of like Lovesick, a little bit rougher, super freaking heckin' pigmented. You're probably going to expect a bit more fallout on a shade like this. Just, you can see, a little bit patchy, a little bit whatever, but on the eyeball, on the eyeball, this swatch does not do the way that this shadow blends and is formulated justice. Then we have Matteo, which, you ready for this? Are you ready to get absolutely fucked up? Do this one right here, look. Oh, look at all those reflections. It is, just, it is absolutely stunning. One of my new favorite green, Blah, let me look at it. It's fucking beautiful. Gotta wipe off my fingers just to let you know we're gonna be doing that a lot in this video because we're swatching a lot of colors. At least I'm not swatching highlighter because you all know I love highlighter, but I hate swatching it because then there's glitter, fucking shimmer shiny everywhere. Then the last two are, ooh, you can see my face. The last two are gonna be this right here, the Boy Mum, which <sighs> back to that smooth, delicious, decadent, just velvety texture. So freaking, you know how I love a slightly green-based brown. 
and then last but not least we have got almond eyes which is you know you know that is my ish that is my shiz that is my shit i absolutely love that i live for it and it is absolutely gorgeous so here we've got them all looking like this i mean is this not a color story that I saw it, I have reds, I have greens, I have grunge, but this, this, I just, this speaks to me on a whole nother level, just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, next, but certainly not least, we are going to be doing a review slash compare and contrast of the Gemini original and the Gemini new fancy if it was reformulated let me know down below or for this was just a repackaging retiring old and making new with swatching these i'm actually going to be swatching the new shades with the old shades next to each other obviously that doesn't say any much too much about oh excuse me burp squad doesn't say too much about the formula going on but you know it's good for comparison and then we'll talk about the formula mine did arrive broken i contacted sephora like i don't even know how many times they never contacted me back so i said fuck it and i taped this up so now it's an aesthetic shatter with my grungy makeup you see that that's why i don't feel so bad about buying this new one it does that every time i freaking open it it's just schwitzy and chunky and bleh but we've got the two right there pretty much pound for pound it looks very can you focus can you do me just one favor and focus looking like that looking very similar i've got some great use out of the original so let's just go on into swatching it. All right, I am going to start with the new. Let's see how I can do this without making a mess on my whatever. So I'm gonna swatch this one right here, which is Luna from the new one, and then Luna from the original. Got these going on right here. See that? You know, it's kind of like a pasty pasty here going on. I find that the new one has a little bit more pigment just right up out of the bat. I think that's partly because sweat. I think that's partly because their original formula is, like we say, heckin' pigmented, but really freaking powdery. You kind of have to just know how to use it and work with it and stuff, talk nice to it. And then I'm gonna do Gemini right here. It's too hard to be dealing with the I love the consistency of this shimmer. This is, again, when Melt does it right. It comes off a little chunky on the swatch, but mm, you smooth that shit out, and it is worth every... You don't need no setting spray, no nothing. Just glide this on like metallic butter across your lids. Then from the original, we've got this right here. This feels a lot looser nowhere near as tightly packed it's a little bit patchier not quite as you can see it's not quite as intense so i think they did do some formulation tweaking i still love this shimmer but i think this one is just it kicked up a little bit then while i've got this here we'll just do this one which is lorelei coming from the original a very firm not really rough but not a smooth buttery feeling pigment next from the new one same shade going on here much softer much smoother it looks a little doesn't so much on camera it looks a little brighter the new one here but pretty much the same i think this like i said i'm not sure if they did formulation tweaking or not i always loved the original melt formulation so if any of you know that let me know down below then we're doing polka dot right here again very smooth heckin pigmented feels beautiful a little fallout. You got to blend that ish out just a little bit, but still absolutely gorgeous. Then polka dot from the original palette. Again, the texture just overall does not feel as smooth as the new formulation. Very similar. Look like I swatched from the same palette. Then next is cupcake right here. Very smooth. Very, very, very powdery but also just mm. <laughs> mm. Then from the new one, Cupcake again, super, 
super smooth. This is a shadow you want to treat delicately because it's super smooth, but it is heckin' pigmented. You get a fuck ton on your brush with this. Just, just, just kiss the pan. Give it a little, give it a little touch. Then Bonnie, which this is, if used correctly and with great caution and respect, this is one of my favorite, favorite blacks. It is so easy to use. A titchy, teeny, tiny bit of this shit goes a long way. Oh, there is just, there is just fits absolutely everywhere. Oh my goodness. Bonnie again, right here. Again, for some reason, this one, the original one, is a bit more opaque on the swatch. I would say you might have to build this one up a little bit more than this one, but I think that's slightly due to the fact that this one is a bit more powdery than the new formulation. Yeah, I'm honestly really glad that I got the new one because as I'm opening and closing this, it's just... It is absolute shimmer chaos all up in this. But we did Bonnie. Let's go into my favorite bits, which is Leo, which is absolutely amazing. Y'all know how I feel about this color story. It just gets me in so many different ways. Then Leo from the new palette, trying to look and see which fingers I'm using. Very smooth, very much the same texture going on there. Looks, the swatch is not doing that one, I would say, not enough justice. They kind of swatch the same way, but I would say this one looks more pitiful. We know now that swatches, in fact, do not tell all. And then we have goals right here, which just, again, feels much firmer. But that does not matter because, boom, look at that. That is absolutely everything. I want a grungy, khaki, green, shimmy, shiny, shit shimmer to look like. That is heaven. Then, um, let's just, let's just <laughs> tap, 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 tap. It's so puffy feeling. <laughs> Gonna put that one, we'll do that one right here. Beautiful, beautiful, immaculate formula. I do think they did something to zhuzh these just just make them even better than the original because they're not chunky, they're not flaky, they smooth really well on the eyes. It's just absolutely amazing. Then we'll do Fire OG right here. I'm trying not to dump all the shimmer onto my carpet. I just vacuumed. Going on like that. Again, you know I love this. Right there, gorgeous, grungy, greeny, deliciousness. And then on into the new one. Again, smoother, more firmly packed, not as much fallout going on right there. Then last, but certainly not least, Mochi, which is, we could, we could do a whole new palette based around this shade, and I would die happy. Give that one a nice, smooth, beautiful, hardly any kick up and whatever going on in the pan. Just absolutely, I love, 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 love this shade. I mean, I love the whole freaking palette. Okay, then last but not least, we'll do Mochi here. Actually, this one feels about the same as the newly formulated one, about the same consistency. Swatches a bit better than the new one. But here are all the glorious swatches. Don't worry about this. I was putting um, a pizza in the oven in Arizona and the oven bit me. But here we have going on like that. Just really, really, I mean, the color story has always been beautiful on this, whereas this we're talking more about formulation. So we've got swatches. Now let's talk about said formulation and my experience using these and this new one compared, this old one compared to the new one. Okay, I'm gonna just start out of the gate with the easiest conclusion I have come to in this video and that is that this palette is amazing. I absolutely love this. And the thing, the thing that makes me so upset about this is when I bought it on Sephora, I noticed a little thing, a little thing discussing this, and it said 
limited edition, excuse me, burp squad. I burp in defiance of the limited edition scam. And I'm also upset that they have the balls, the audacity to make a palette that's as pretty as this and as formulated. This is, this is melt at its best. This is melt doing what it does the best. And they have the audacity to make this shit limited edition. I am not happy about this because this is a palette Take heed, Melt, you're never going to see my videos, but this is a palette that if y'all had it be permanent, had it be all what what, not limited edition, I would be recommending the shit out of this palette for the rest of 22, 2022. But no! Y'all made it limited edition, so you're gonna get a review out of it, and then I'm gonna be like, oh, it's amazing, but it's limited edition, and you can't get it anymore. Need to make a petition for all of us to sign for this to become permanent, because... Color story aside, this is absolutely, it is a dream to work with. There isn't, I don't know if they reformulated or did a new, well, this isn't a reformulation. I don't know what they did to formulate this shit, but they need to keep doing it because this is absolutely immaculate. This is on par, if not better, than formulated than some of their other palettes. I would say this is better formulated than the original Gemini. Like I said, on par or even better than a lot, and I got a lot, <laughs> I got a lot a Melt Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. But this one was such, if you like these colors and you haven't bought this palette yet, buy it. I endorse this shit 110%. And I say, if you're someone who likes reds and you're a little bit more of an alternative person, a little bit more, you know, not going au natural, I would say that this one is the grunge alternative to the modern renaissance, which y'all know was the start of my intro to red eyeshadow. It has got a lot of similar tones, but instead of having like the more neutral bit going on here, we have neutral, which is brownie green, which I think makes this one just a little bit edgier, just a little bit less basic, a little bit less mainstream. All the reds and then the addition of this bit here, these three eyeshadows makes me, you know, my alternative soul sing. To put it very plainly, this was a dream to work with. I had minimal to no fallout and I was even, some of the times I was dipping in, I wasn't tapping all that excess off my brush. I was just dipping and going in. And we know with Melt, that is usually, no, you do not dip and just go in. You tread lightly. But this one was just, you have those moments when you don't know what you're expecting from a palette. And then as you put it on your eyes, you're just like, oh, oh, oh my. And it blends so beautiful. I know my blending may not be 110%, but it's not patchy. It blended well. The colors, the gradient. Every experience I've had with this, these shimmers, these shimmers. I'm not sure what I was expecting out of this palette because I have become a lot more realistic with my makeup expectations. Uh, cost does not equate quality anymore. I'm not sure if it ever did, but I really don't now. But I would say this palette is worth every single blinking penny. And this is probably my new favorite red toned palette. I love Modern Renaissance. I have so many red toned palettes, but for right now, this one, uh, formulation wise, color story wise, just ability to use. I always say Melt Cosmetics are not a beginner friendly uh, formula. While this still may not be a beginner friendly formula, it is, I would say, one that I would say start for someone who is getting into Melt for the first time and they want to experience kind of like pre-Melt Cosmetics traditional formula. This is just so well done. Absolutely love it. Every bit of this shit is quality. And now I'm going to get really, really honest. And I would say that the second, this re-whatever done of Gemini is in fact superior to this one, even aside of the fact that my shimmers are a crumbly, sad, dying mess. That aside, like I said, I do not know if they reformulated any of this, but the even just the, the kick up that they did to these two shimmers right here just made the use of this palette even better than when using the original. It just took it to the next level. I don't know if they tweaked what they did. Again, 
The majority of the eyeshadows feel smooth. They pick up a nice amount of pigment without being too fallouty like the original. The eyeshadows are more finely milled. They might be a little bit pressed tighter than those ones. I'd say one of the loosest shades is this one, which is just because you just, just a kiss, just a touch, just a little, little, just a little bit. Because it just, a lot of that shit comes off. It is heckin', heckin', heckin' pigmented. And just overall, I mean, I was using both. I did a uh, eye look, which, um, uh, one eye, the new eye, bleh. one eye, the old palette, one eye, the new palette. And while the looks looked pretty much identical color wise and whatever, just using this palette was a superior experience to the original. I like the original. The look turned out nice. It's good quality, but this one just, just edges out on the side of it and pulls to the front of the racetrack. I would definitely, definitely recommend this one as well. Like I said, I do think it's superior to that one. I'm not saying if you have the original, go out and buy the new one because like I said, melt palettes are not cheap. If yours is still fine, keep using, I mean, do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> go get it. Don't go get it. I am not, I am not your mother. Do whatever the hell you want with your money. But just from using this and everything, I am 110% pleased with my purchase and my choice. I'm looking for the second one. I am 110% happy with my choice, with, with my decision to buy these because they are two beautiful palettes and this, whether it's a new formulation or not, if they did something to this, I wanna know. But this, just this formulation and this palette makes me excited to use my Gemini because I've lo I love the original, but I would use it and it would schwitz all over my face and that's not exactly encouraging to a calming makeup application experience. But these two palettes, I know I'm gonna have a favorites video of June, like, no, July, no. It's gonna be July favorites in an August video, so stay tuned for that. I am absolutely just, I, <laughs> I am really happy with my low buy and with the fact that the things I'm choosing to buy and purchase so far has brought me a lot of joy color story-wise as well as quality-wise. Since entering back into the beauty stratosphere, I haven't had any significant duds. I'm wearing a new blush that I purchased, a new highlighter on my face. I feel good. So long story short, you don't have this one, buy it. The quality is amazing. I love the color stories, the mattes, the shimmers. Everything has my uh, seal of approval. And then this one, if you don't have the Gemini palette and you want to get it, get it. This is amazing. Again, it's just beautifully, beautifully formulated and an absolute perfect example of what Melt Cosmetics can produce when they do it right. This is the exact opposite, the antithesis to the Millennial Pink's palette. Everything, I can forgive them now and all of their whatevers because they created these two. Can't forgive them for making this. I don't even know why. Why the fuck did they make this limit? It is beautiful, it is gorgeous, it is formulated immaculately, and they made it limited edition. It's stupid, it's stupid. They have palettes that aren't formulated this amazing that's not limited edition, so let's, let's get real here. <laughs> And let's make this one a permanent addition to the family. Also because they work so fucking well together. There's always been something I've loved about Melt Cosmetic palettes. Most of the ones I have, all the ones that I love is if I were to get rid of the majority of my eyeshadow collection and kept my Melt palettes, I would be so, it would still be a beautiful collection. They all work really well together. The formulas blend well together. And these two are just just a perfect, you've got the modern renaissance and the soft glam, which in my opinion is the true sister palette to the modern renaissance. And this gives the same vibes. It just goes so well together. They complement one another. They stand alone and they can go together. I love these. This has been a wonderful experience. I just, I am completely, I don't know, blown away is the right, but I am super super pleased and this definitely went a bit beyond I think what my expectations were it was just a bit 
better. So like I said, would highly, highly recommend those palettes. I know I'm going to be using the shit out of those for doing my makeup because I just, uh, the application was a joy, it was a pleasurable experience, which is always something that I appreciate as a makeup lover. Well, there we have that review. I hope you all enjoyed that. Like I said, the next one I'm gonna be doing is gonna be the two Natasha Denona palettes. These two, just for reference, this is the retro palette going on right here. And then this one is the Zendo palettes, which were, like I said, two palettes that I really wanted to get when they came out, but I could not justify. I mean, I don't know if I can justify $65 now, but I bought them. I figure I might as well review them. Let me know down below if you're still interested in seeing that video. Would love to hear what y'all have to say about these palettes. Your thoughts on the new original Gemini versus the old Gemini. The new one. We all have different experiences and expectations and what we like in our makeup. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on these products down below. Thank you all for watching. I love you. And as always, keep it real. Mwah!